few considerations that you might want to consider if you're if you're if you're putting a, a, a data projector up on the ceiling. First of all, um, is it going to be is is the ceiling very very high? Because if it's very high, you're going to have a very long pool. Um, a lot of times there'll be an older uh, school, so up in the ceiling. First of all, it's going to be a very sealed ceiling, and second of all, there's going to be asbestos abatement you might need to consider as well. Third thing with that is you want to be able to make sure the distance to the uh, to the screen is relatively close, because you can see in this classroom that there's a smart board that has just been uh, just been put in here, and really. For this particular smart board and the projector, the distance wasn't that um, wasn't an issue with this. For other projectors and other smart boards, you'd have to put the projector a lot closer to the actual uh, smart board in order for it to work. There was minimum uh, configuration uh, to take care of this. So here in, uh, lies a solution of what they had before: data projector and overhead, and now it's a data projector. And a smart board. In that case, you also may want to consider the larger smart board, the 680 or the 685 that is coming. Uh, the 660 might be a little bit too small for uh, projecting from a projector.